Welcome to the Bodaciously Awesome Family Show. Bodaciously Awesome Family Show. The only show dedicated to helping parents maximize their kids' experiences and for kids to reap the fun. Here are your hosts, the Bodacious Family, Adam, Anthony, and Zach. Yay! Yo, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Back to the Bodaciously Awesome. Some family show. I am your host, Adam. I'm your host, Zachary. And we are back. We are better than ever, as always. That's how we roll. Zachary, how are you doing today? I am doing good. What about you? I am here with the energy. I am highly caffeinated. I'm drinking coffee as we record this because I am here to bring it. Because it's just like the rock. I am on team bring it. And that is the op- 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 opportunity that we are discussing today. That made no sense. Black... Adam. We are talking about Black Adam starring The Rock. It was great. I just got to go out the gate and say it was great. I I was highly more than I expected. The trailer, no offense to DC, but it looked really bad. But you guys pulled through. The movie was a solid 7.5 to 8 out of 10. I've changed my rate. I've, I've went down just because of the pure shock of the moment. It went down like 8.5, 7.5 out of 10. So, it's still a very solid movie, and I think it was really good. Okay, here's the thing, man. We are one minute and 15 seconds into this podcast, and you've given away everything. You've said how you liked it. You've given away the rating. Like, is that is this our new strategy instead of my long-winded nature? Are you just like, hey, let's just get right to the meat? Oh, yeah. Oh, if that's, that's, that's the goal? Yeah, we get straight to the... To the actual topic? To the lime chicken wings. To the, the lime chicken. No, no, lemon pepper. The, 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 the lemon pepper wings? <laughs> yeah. That we cooked for Thanksgiving. That, that's not the point, though. That's not the point. All right. So, yes, we're talking about Black Adam starring The Rock. Um, and by all practical measure, like, it's everything about The Rock. Because he, this is a movie he's been trying to make for, like, ten years. Like, it's been his dream project. Wait, really? Yeah. So he produced it. So he's one of the producers on it. And he obviously stars in it. And, you know, he did not write or direct it, but he might as well have, as my guess, because he there's he's been, like, you know, putting, like, things on Instagram and Twitter about, like, the marketing campaign and how he's been sitting in on global marketing meetings. Like, he is absolutely, he's been very hands-on this movie. And I can see why. It was a very solid movie. Yeah, I, so, let's start, let's talk, let's talk backwards here a little bit. You start, you mentioned the trailer. Mm-hmm. So, the trailer for Black Adam came out. And let's just say it was underwhelming. It was very underwhelming. Let's say it was a chaotic mess. It was horrible. Yeah, that trailer was super bad. Like, I remember watching the trailer, and I literally thought it was a joke. I showed it to Mom, and she thought it was like a parody. Like, she thought it was like not a real movie. She it was like a Saturday Night Live sketch. Yeah, it was bad. Because, like, it was just booms and chaos everywhere. Yeah, and I will tell you, that, like you said... That did not give me a lot of high hopes for the movie. I was not necessarily wanting to see it. We saw it really late. The movie came out in October. We just saw it now at the end of November. And we waited a few, like, six, five, six weeks because neither one of us were really jazzed to see it. Is that correct? Yeah. And why were you not jazzed? Because of the trailer. And did you hear any other, like, did, has anyone in school seen it? Has anyone in your class, like, talking about it? No. So it has no, like, conversation in the 10-year-old set? No. That's interesting. That actually surprises me because you will also now say really liked it. It was very good. Yeah. Now, for the sake of argument here, I enjoyed it not as much as you, but I liked it. Like it, it was far better than I expected. Mm-hmm. Although to be honest, I expected it to be an unwatchable mess that I thought I was going to walk out of absolutely hating, and I did not. I, 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 I enjoyed I re- myself. I would rewatch it. I probably would too. Like I, said, I enjoyed myself throughout. Here's the thing I want to say about this movie. I think this is the biggest thing, is that I found it enjoyable. Is it a good movie or a great movie? Not really, but, but it it's very enjoyable. enjoyable. You're you're not being you're not bored. You're not wondering when it's going to end. You're just enjoying it. You're not thinking of the ending, or you're not thinking when is it going to end so I can get out of here. Like I was thinking in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. That's a different story though. But it was the perfect length of time. Maybe take five or ten minutes off of it. But it was a really good solid time. And it was very enjoyable. Yeah, agreed. So it's like two hours and ten minutes long. So it's a little long, but not much. And I agree with you. There was never a point where I looked at my watch. And that's always a pretty good indicator for me. Especially if a movie's running long. If I'm like, oh my god, how much longer is in this? I don't mind a movie being long. As long as it has point and plot to fill. Yes. Right? 
And so when a movie is, or a movie being short, if that's just like, if it's like, oh, we only had an hour and a half story to tell, so it's an hour and a half. But if it's an hour and a half story, you make it two hours, I'm going to get bored. I agree, this probably could have used about 10 minutes trimming here and there. But for the most part, I thought it was pretty, I thought it was, it moved pretty well. It moves greatly. Yeah. Now they fast forward through a lot of things because there's sometimes, like, they give you, there's basically no plot. Like, what's the plot of this movie? Um, that there was this hero, like, back in, like, the very olden days, who, this king who was forcing his slaves to work in mines to find this, like, really powerful substance and give it to him because that's if you find like 10 or something then you get the power of all the demons and so um there was this kid aka the rock and he found it right he was found it, it, was the kid that found it or was it there's the rock the dad or was rock the kid the it was flashback rock, made no sense yeah to yeah me. but i know that so he picked it up and like one guy found it, it wasn't the rock though and this guy picked him up, and he's like, oh, where's my reward? Because the king promised a reward. And then he stabbed, and then the soldier stabbed him and then yep. threw him off a cliff. And then, and that was not the rock. Yeah. And then the rock stole the, the Ethereum or whatever it's called and started running. And then he, like, turned, and he was, like, getting, and the kings found him eventually, and he was getting, like, he was on... He was chained up, and he was doing, like, the signal, like, a diamond up to the crowd. Yeah, he was, like, basically doing watching. Diamond Dallas Page's diamond cutter symbol. Go on. And, like, he was doing it to the crowd before he got killed, but then he just... There was a lightning bolt, and he went to this place, and he got the powers of Black Adam. Shazam! Black Adam. And he killed the king, but since he... He wasn't supposed to kill anybody, so the gods who gave him his powers... Um, took them away and put them in a tomb. I'm going to say, first of all, that's a great recap. And more than I even got out of it. Cause I, I forgot the fact that that's why the gods basically entombed him with the uh, dead king and took away his power. So good job with that. All that all, all that was actually really good. And yes, he does do that, uh, the diamond cutter symbol, which becomes happens later on. The, another kid uses it. And effectively, and, and you don't know this, but the entire backstory is very similar to The Rock's movie, The Scorpion King, which is the prequel to the Mummy series. And it's almost like he just wanted to remake The Scorpion King on some level. And there was actually times during, while watching Black Adam, I thought, man, that prequel story would have been really kind of cool. Had they, instead of done a modern day Black Adam, they could have just done effectively that, you know, ancient Egyptian scorpion, you know, uh, movie. And the founding of Black Adam or uh, Black Tent or Tent Tent Adam, whatever. Yeah, Black yeah. Tenta. Tent Adam. Yeah. And they could have done that. And that would have been actually kind of cool. Instead, they, they shoehorned it into this quick little um, back yeah, backdraft here or a uh, side log. So it happens a couple times. They show it to you a few times, give you the entire plot. And it moves along. And then it's like the main plot of the movie, which is effectively there's like an evil corporation has taken over a country. I don't quite understand because it's not another country. It's not, but but there's an evil organization. No, no, no. It's another country coming after, coming into the city and occupying it with their officers, like a bigger country, but it was like, but so it was, that they could steal the resources that they found to make him black ten item. Right, but but the name of the but it was like a mm-hmm. organ. It was like it was like you know intra gang or something was the name of it. They kept talking about the intra. It like it was like. The intra gang police. Oh uh, yeah, but I'm. Pretty Which also, by the way, so, like if you're if you're a company, let's say you're a mercenary for hire company, and you name your company intra gang, it's probably a bad sign. Yeah, but they were trying to find the crown made of lithium, or whatever. Whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. And um. Vibranium, whatever the whatever the DC equivalent of vibranium was. This this was trying very hard to make whatever country this was be Wakanda, and whatever the special metal was be vibranium. Yeah, but. Um, the mom and this kid had the crown after an excavation where they said, where she was reading... Shazam! When she said Shazam accidentally, and Black Adam rose and killed a bunch of people. Well, she says it on purpose because she reads the inscription. She isn't isn't quite sure what's going to happen, I don't think. But she's, like, reading the inscription, and that's why she says it. And then, yeah, Black Adam comes. And Black Adam just eviscerates everybody. Mm -hmm. So, here's my only sub-problem with this movie is that Black Adam becomes very quickly, quite possibly, the most powerful character in the history of ever. 
I mean, he flies, he's indestructible, he's bulletproof, he's super fast, he has lightning thrown out of his fingers, he has, and he has he's normal... And he's still almost lost. Yeah, he has no moral compass, like, he has fries people. There's a point where he rips a person in half. <laughs> that was lit. <laughs> and it's funny. So, here's, this goes back to, uh, I think the demographic, the, pe- the, the movies the movie is aimed for, right, are boys between the ages of, say, 9 and 12. Yeah. So let's go to that preteen boy segment. If that is you, you will absolutely love this movie more than anybody else. Mm-hmm. And I can even use the fact that when so the rock at the point at one point rips the dude in half, like like just like digs his fingers into his skull and rips the guy in half and lengthwise. It was, and it was so amazing. And I looked at Zach, and he looks at me, and Zach's just like, oh. And <laughs> <laughs> I knew be your favorite part. It actually wasn't. My favorite part was. I have a favorite character, and that was Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate made the movie. Dr. Fate was amazing. Dr. Fate was really but good. But my favorite part was when, like, that final battle, when Dr. Fate was, like, there, and he was... No, no, actually, my favorite part was the funny part, where Adam Smasher, like, goes the wrong way, and then he has to, like, he's, like, running, and then he has to turn back. That was hilarious. Yeah, I, I, I like to... So there's some... There wasn't a lot of humor in this, but there's some little pieces of humor. So Adam Smasher going the wrong way in a battle accidentally. He also randomly eats a lot of things. Like he, he's eating chicken wings at one point. He always eats granola bars. Yeah, that was kind of odd, but it was kind of humorous. There was one point where The Rock's trying to understand sarcasm, and so that was kind of funny. So one thing I noticed, and you may not realize this, right, is I, I saw a lot of parts of other movies in this. So it was kind of like this. Yeah, I saw... Um, Iron Man. There was definitely some Iron Man. Hulk. Definitely some Hulk. And Deadpool. Adam Smasher was kind of like the costume wise. Adam. Oh, okay, sure. And then there's well, and then Doctor Fate was very similar to Doctor Strange. But Doctor Fate was so cool. I agree. I, I like Doctor Fate better than Doctor Strange. I love Doctor Fate. Yeah. And then, but he was very similar. Even like the floating made himself, you know, multiply, use magic. So he was very similar. Yeah. There. Um, when the Rock, it, or, you know, when Black Adam is trying to learn sarcasm and how to learn how to talk, it's very similar to Terminator Two, and that, and the Rock's mannerisms is very similar to when the Terminator tries to use uh, humor, which you would not get yet, but you will. Um, so there's a lot of that in it. There's just a lot of other things, and that's one reason I don't think this movie's done all that well because I don't think it breaks any new ground, but I think it just does it all well enough, right? Like mm-hmm. it's not trying to be anything different. It's not trying to be anything spectacular. It's just trying to be a fun time at the movies, and I think it accomplishes that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And by that law, lo- by that logic, then, it becomes kind of one of the best movies in the DCU. It... Yeah. Well, recent. Recently. Since 20... When was Dark Knight? Rises? Well, the, so the Dark Knight movies aren't considered part of the DC universe. Then what? Then what There's is the, bat. the first movie? So the DC universe has so the, you know uh, Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 1984. 1984. I mean, Wonder Woman was good, right? Yeah, Wonder Woman is good. 84 is trash. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry, it's really long and not good. I won't say trash. This has those two. It has Justice League. I. Like Justice League, okay? yeah, and Justice League isn't isn't horrible. Like it actually, the um the 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 Snyder verse, the Snyder cut's actually pretty good. Is 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 better. So I like yeah. that one. It's uh, Black Adam is better than the theatrical Justice League. The Snyder cut Justice League, the one that you saw, I actually might like better than Black Adam. I didn't. Yeah. So then it has Aquaman, Ugh. and Black Adam is far better than Aquaman. And then it has uh, Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman. Oh, Batman vs Superman was horrible. Yeah, so like I think, and I think that Black Adam may be better than both of those. Yeah, I say it was the second best. Yeah, I would go third, but like I said, but the problem is that all most of the DC movies are just so bad. They tr- oh, and then you have the, the Suicide Squad or Suicide Squad, which is awful, and then the Suicide Squad, which is better. But I would rather watch Black Adam again. Yeah, Black Adam's good. Now, so that I mean. It's not the highest praise because a lot of those movies are really bad, but it wasn't trying to be anything different than just being kind of stupid fun, and it accomplished it. Here's the one thing. I have one thing that would have made it ten times better. You want to know what it was? Yes. Ask me. Say, what is it? What was it? What was what? What was it? What was what? What was the best? What is the thing that can make it better? Okay, so here's the thing. That would make it ten times better like that. So 
they introduced the Justice Society of America. And not as a comic book reader. I don't know what that is, right? And apparently there's like Hawkman and some and, and then and, and then the DC version of Storm and the DC and Adam Smasher. And Doctor Fate. And Doctor Fate. I have to do that for you. So I love Doctor Fate. And here's just this group. So first thing is that in the DCU, like the only time they've actually seen superheroes is basically Justice League. So the fact that now you have a dude flying around a hawk cape, right, and Doctor Fate, I, you, they haven't really given any context to a larger world, which I would have liked. But that's besides the point. Yeah. In the DCU, they've established there is a character by the name of Peacemaker. Who's that? Okay, so Peacemaker is like a really stupid uh, Captain America, right? He's mm-hmm. Uh, he has, he's a lot of action. It's bravado, but the character himself is not very smart. Like he he makes stupid decisions, and he just like he just basically kills lots of people, it, trying to be in the name of good, but he does a lot of bad things. Okay. And Peacemaker is played by John Cena. Oh, it's that guy. Yes. I know. I know what you're talking about with like the red cape. Yes. And the mask. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And if you had put somehow, whether it was in the Justice Society of America or in an end credit sequence, just somehow you bring Peacemaker into Black Adam and I I would have popped. It would have been like it would have been like a WrestleMania moment, Rock for Cena one time only, even though it made it to two WrestleManias. I would have loved it. That if there is a Black Adam two, I want it to be Black Adam versus Peacemaker. Peacemaker. <laughs> they tried to set up Black Adam versus Superman. And I don't care. I want Black Adam versus Peacemaker. I say Peacemaker. Oh my god, it'd be so amazing. That'd DC's got to make this happen just for me. I know. Yeah, or you. Yes. You and me. Yeah. I would see that. I think I feel like we're the only ones that would like that. I mean, we'd be, we'd be there though. So that's our advice. So Zachary, I know you said well, we'll do both scales. So first mine on a scale of zero to five, zero being an absolute waste of two hours and ten minutes of your life, five being metaphysical perfection, using only half numbers. How would you rate that movie? Three and a half. And your scale is from 1 to 10, correct? Mm-hmm. And you would say? 7.5. 7.5, okay. I would say, on a scale of 0 to 5, you're going to have to waste 2 hours, 10 minutes of my life, 5 minutes of my life, you half numbers. I would rate Black Adam, I'm going to say, I'm still dancing between a 2.5 and a 3. I'm going to say 3, because 2.5 is average, and it's better than average. It was better than expected. I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And I really appreciate that, because I, I was not expecting to. Um, on your scale, then, that means I'd give it a 6. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fair. All right. Well, hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. Thank you. And we'll be back. Um, we got lots of fun, cool episodes coming up over the next you know month or so, um, depending on how we all air them. But we're going to do like a state of um, the state of superhero movies. We're going to yep. talk about that. And we're going to talk about some NFL stuff. NFL um, playoff picture. Yep, and stuff like that. So stay with us. We have a lot of fun things. Everyone, don't just be awesome. Be my next really awesome. And we're going to talk to you all later. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Peacemaker first, Black Adam, one time only!